Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Butler Family Farm. Susan here. Um, Jerry, Robert, and I are going to go out um, to a, a Bermuda grass field that uh, we go out and pick up uh, bales of Bermuda uh, for the winter for mainly the um, old, old older horse that we have. Um, we usually get about 20 bales. Um, so we're going to do that uh, and bring them back to the house, load them into the barn, and take you along with us. Fish it off. You know, just now the camera's off, but took it. What do you mean crooked? Well, it's tilted. My side's up. <laughs> Don't. picking up 20 bales of Bermuda for my horses. Oh yeah, I was a little close, huh? I guess I better pull forward. This is what it looks like empty. Probably wanted to put it half this way, right there and there, and here, Lee. Set it this way? No, this one here. Set it out half over here and half over there. You remember how you get 20 before? Shorter pail. We just get what we can, you know, it's not a big twenty's not the deal breaker, rightly. You were gonna get rich I mean, off of it. Really work like they say? I mean, can a guy make money on it? If you, if you get enough, yeah, put the work into it. Ah. Should we grab this one up here? Yeah, let me see if I can this Unload these. Most likely put them right here. Just get the last one now. Pull some bales out. The straw. For his bees, put one there, and the rest of them are all over here. All 
closed up. I'm ready to go. Not entirely sure where he wants these. I want to just put him right over here. There you go, there's your bee bales. So when he got home, he uh, wanted to set the bales up and needs to do a little cleanup. Reusable tea poke, we just have to get our tea poke straightener out here, so again. Alright. So I'm gonna put these bales. So he's going to put the bales right, behind. right there. Like that. He's talking. I don't know if you can hear him, so I'm going to be repeating what he says. He's going to stack the three bales right behind the beehive, and they, the bales will be uh, blocking the north wind for them. And do, are we going to put three more for the west? Huh? Are we going to put three more for the west? Yeah, we could put three over here. We have three extra ones. Because it's the northwest right up there. Yeah. So. I think we should. I two more bales from right here. We're going to get more. Then, I just. Uh, I'm going to build, I'm going to get, I'm going to get uh, some styrofoam, two inch blue styrofoam. I'm going to build a, a semi box around there. So that will help protect the bees also. Leave the front the open. Code, yeah. It'll be a three-sided box and that will help keep the, the bees insulated so they're okay through the winter time. So my key in the winter time is just to keep them alive until springtime because they'll flourish in the springtime we'll get more we'll end up getting the hive before we have fuller hive. A stronger hive. Thanks for going along with us on our little jaunt. Um, hope you enjoyed it we were able to take care of two things today we got the Bermuda square bells for um, Jeannie our horse and Jerry's now got his straw bales that he needs for uh, winterizing his beehive um, and there'll be more videos about that later on some of the other straw will be used for the goat huts and that's another video upcoming video so we thank you for uh, joining us on this uh, and stopping by Butler Family Farm. Until next time, hope you all have a great day.